This project, I think, will be really interesting to a lot of our homeowners. These homeowners had a really steeply sloping yard, and I think that's something that a lot of people struggle with. How do you utilize a really steep sloping yard? A really good solution to create space when you have that type of situation is to use retaining walls to terrace the yard. By terracing, we mean that we're taking those walls and we're extending a level space, creating the wall, and that helps cut that, that slope right down the middle and it makes usable spaces out of a slope. Here we use a decorative block concrete wall product um, by Unilock. This one is their Concord wall unit. This wall is a very economical wall. It's easy to build and it doesn't need a concrete footer, yet really is able to hold that grade back and then create usable space for us. The patio that the homeowners here had before was very narrow and tight to the house. It didn't give them a lot of usable space. The new patio we created is much wider and has a lot of space for a big comfortable seating area, a large dining table, and the cook station that we built. The new patio is a beautiful wet laid Pennsylvania bluestone patio. What wet laid means is that this patio is actually built on a concrete base. A dry laid patio would be built just on um, compacted stone and then with a joint on, on sand. The nice thing is that with a mortar joint, you really are getting no weeds in those joints, no ants, and it's very stable. There's not a lot of cracking. There's very little movement or settlement in the patios. So a wet laid patio is a little bit higher in cost initially, but may save you over time because of less repairs that may be needed in the future. On this project, we have a beautiful masonry cook station that we built, and it has a real stone veneer, which is very nice. I really like the colors and textures of this stone that the designer picked on this one. This cook station is a, real, a little bit different from a lot of our other cook stations in that it has a concrete countertop as opposed to a granite countertop, which we use a lot of times. I have a special guest with me out here today. It's Beth Maurer and she's from Liquid Stone Concrete Design. And she did a fabulous concrete um, countertop for our latest cook station that we built. This countertop is what we call a polished finish. Okay. We actually make it upside down okay. and reverse, and we use a more um, fluid mix design, okay. and then we just polish it up okay. and we do all of our sealing process, which okay. actually has anywhere from six to eight coats on it. This featured project is a little bit more contemporary. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more modern. This countertop really matches that style. Yes, it well. does. It's aesthetics. It's a piece of art for you. Even though we make it, we literally talk to the client. We get what you like. We want to know what's the atmosphere of their space and their area. Thanks again to Beth Maurer from Liquid Stone Concrete Design. Thank you for having me. It was really nice having you out here today. This customer was very unique. This customer enjoyed the color, the neutral colors of oranges and a little bit of blacks and things like that, which is very nice because during the fall, it actually picks up and looks very stylish. We picked out a fire pit and the fire pit, we did black glass. We did a teak accent again. And then we did these poofs right here. The poofs are a great way of introducing a little more seating while still giving us the pops of color. Very stylish and very fashion forward. The poofs come in handy as an ottoman, a seating area. You can do a lot of different things with it. What came together here is basically a, a beautiful setting anytime during the year. What we chose for this project is that we did our Kingsley Bait. We did the Hannes extension table. This extension table does incredibly well for us because it gives the customer the option of accommodating six people, eight, 10, even 12 people. It has extensions that come out basically as a butterfly effect and they just open up and weather just as much as the other teak does. This customer chose sling chairs because they wanted non-maintenance. This furniture out here can get very wet. It'll dry very quickly once the sun comes out and still give you very comfortable seating.
Aesthetically, the style of the chair is central pay by Kingsley Bay. Very, very transitional. Goes with contemporary, goes with traditional. So you can mix it together in a lot of different settings. What we did here is that we mixed it together with a Francis by Kingsley Bay seating ensemble, very traditional set. So it tends to pick up a more traditional styling because of the fact that we're mixing it in with this. Two defined areas separated by two different styles, but yet brought together by the same color tones. I think it's a winning statement here. We have tons of other projects that we would love for you to take a look at. Thanks for watching.